Hello everybody and welcome to Above Snakes. Now this is a game by Tobias Schnackenberg and published by Critivo. Thank you very much for the key. And it is all about a town in the, in the wild, wild west that uh, gets hit by some very mysterious things. I will read you the story. So, uh, Corpse Creek in 1883. The darkness of the midnight sky was interrupted by a brilliant green light. The anomaly was followed by a flurry of stones aflame that fell upon this otherwise quiet town. Folks stormed from their homes, dazed by the sky illuminated up above. It didn't take long for the first of the meteors to reach the earth with a massive bang. Those who survived took their loved ones to the graveyard of Corpse Creek the following day. As the bodies lay freshly buried and the local preacher Noah gave his last blessing, the ground rumbled. A hand burst from one of the graves, reaching towards the sky. While folks were quick to pull their firearms free, they were unable to fight their loved ones they'd only just buried. But they would soon discover that those had arisen were no longer human. Ah. Okay, so we basically have zombies that come from a meteor. Okay. So this game, if I can if I can get it to Ah yes, I can get my cursor to show up. Alright, so this game, we basically have um a girl, I think her name might be Ayana, but I, I could be wrong there from just from something it said on the Kickstarter. Who seems to be trying her best to survive uh, out in the wilderness. And we're going to make her a base and we're going to just uh, do lots of cool stuff. If you guys like this, and possibly even if you don't, <laughs> I'll probably continue it. Just because at the moment I'm finding slightly longer play formats just a little bit easier to handle. Okay, so we have a tutorial. Uh, on the bottom right, you can monitor your current needs. You seem to be hungry. Find a berry bush to gather berries. The other thing is I do need a long play to replace Spirit of the Island. Uh, bad news on that one. Uh, I logged in to have a little play on it. Thinking, oh, I can, you know, I finally had a look at some of my comments. And I can, uh, I need to hold this to hit the berry bush. I'm trying to talk to you guys here. Um, so I thought, thinking to myself, oh, I can put into play some of the things you've told me. It'll be amazing. So amazing. I'm going to open my inventory, go to uh, food and drink, and then I can click on these to eat them. But anyway, my story about Spirit of the Island. So, Spirit of the Island, it was basically, I logged in, um, there'd been a new patch, it had wiped my save, I was like, okay, we'll start again, we'll do it all better, because I, I don't feel like I played the, the first run of it in the best way, I was still learning. So, uh, went to record it, and there seems to be some problems with uh, planting crops at the moment. I can't put the crops onto my hotbar. And without being able to put the crops onto my hotbar, I can't plant them. And without being able to plant crops, I am going to have a very hard time surviving properly. Uh, so I could it's playable, but not properly playable right now. So I will need to come back to that one a little bit later. In the meantime, we will play as much uh, of our snakes as we can. And I'm also going to have maybe a little look at Power to the People, just so you know. Uh, just another thing so you know, it's, it's, it's announcement time. <laughs> I'll... I will be getting on to playing the game in just a second. We'll get some sticks off this tree. Um, the other announcement is I am going away between the, the 17th. So this will be going up on the 15th or the 16th. I'm going away on the 17th and I'll be back on the 22nd. I am hoping that we'll be back to a slightly more normal schedule after the 22nd. But up until then, we may still have a very gappy schedule. Um, I'm sitting a lot better in my chair. Uh, I am sticking rigorously to my physiotherapy exercises and all that sort of thing but it's still a little bit hard to sit for long periods of time and it's not not really what uh, they're advising me to do so trying to just uh, use the time of day when I first get up to do recording where my back is at its best and then uh, spend the rest of the time doing my exercises, doing all the things I need to do around the house, going out for walks, that sort of thing. Things to make my my legs and my back stronger. So, yes. That's what I shall be doing. So that's, that's the plan. And, I mean, a lot of people have come up with some very nice suggestions about things like standing desks and things like that. But if I can work on, you know, exercises and things to make me stronger so that I, I can act like normal and sit in my chair like normal. I think that will, at the end of the day, be more comfortable for me and allow me to get more back to a normal schedule of things. Let's get some more food. And then we'll do some crafting because uh, I have finished talking to you now about everything that's going on with me. Like, there is a lot going on with me. There's a lot of uh, 
illness around, not just my own. So it's not great. But we deal with these things as we can. All right, so I'm going to make myself an axe now. Da, da, da. There we go. Kind of is hard because uh, I'm not doing many recordings at the moment. It's uh, hard to find a time to actually give you a, a lowdown on what's going on with everything. So I'm going to go into uh, tools and weapons. We've got my axe there. and I'm going to try and put that onto my hotbar by putting it onto one. Um, in fact, maybe my food should be on two. And so now I can get my axe out and I can start chopping down trees and gathering logs. Yay! Beautiful. So the tree comes down and you get some logs. Oh, the one next door came down. What? You can do like domino effects. I did not know this. That didn't happen in my test play. That was awesome. Okay, so now craft a pickaxe from the twigs and the logs. So back to my crafting menu, my pocket crafting menu, and pickaxe, and you just hold. Boom. We have a pickaxe on number three. I think my rock got destroyed, though. Uh, there's a rock over here I can try and destroy instead. There we are. So this is what we do with the pickaxe. So, like I say, a very... A uh, nice chill start. We can actually zoom in a little bit as well, you know. Um, I can use my axe to get a few more berries. Uh, I don't know if the berries decay like they do in, for example, Spirit of the Islands. And things like stone half and stuff like that. Or you have to make uh, fridges and things like that. But uh, I imagine in this game, because it's a little bit more primitive, it is based in 1883 at the end of the day. Um... Probably not. <laughs> Probably you've got more important things to worry about fighting zombies. So now it's time to explore the world around you. Move to the northern tile edge and explore. Make sure you have two logs and one rock to pay the exploration costs. So you go over right up to the edge. And you can press T as long as you've got all the stuff you need. And then you can choose what you want. So like the pine forest there that's got lots of food and crafting materials. That sounds amazing. Nowhere has a water source, unfortunately. And I am going to need water eventually, because you can see my water here is, is down to about here. It's down to about nearly half, which is unfortunate. So, uh, yeah, no no water sources yet. So I'm just going to take the one that has the most seemingly food and crafting resources. Lovely. So now you've got some blueberries. Lovely. Very nice. So I can cut dried plants with my axe. I need to go maybe go a little bit quicker because I think my water will run out before I, if I spend ages explaining things. I'm going to run out of water and that's not good, is it? No. So, craft a workbench. I think I want to probably have my like main base more back in the centre. I believe the centre tile is where it sends you. Uh, let's make ourselves a clearing as well. I'm going to put my house there and stuff in a minute. Um, but that's where it sends you when, when things all go wrong. So let me just uh, eat a berry. And I want to see whether that does anything for my thirst. It does not. And do I have anything in my... I have one bottle. Which will give me uh, plus 45 water eventually. I'm going to put that on quick bar four. So I do have enough to... Oops, sorry about that. I do have enough to keep me going for a little while. Give me my axe, please. Oh, no, I don't want to chop that one down. I'm trying to make it clearing here. Um, maybe I'll chop this one, though. I think I'm missing it there. I think I have to be quite accurate, and I think that will be important when I am fighting enemies as well. Oh look, there was a rabbit. I wonder if we could have trapped that. If that counts as a food resource, maybe. But there we are. I think we should have plenty of room now. i just pick all of this up. All the sticks. You still need sticks for things, so that's cool. So I'm going to make myself a workbench. Backpack. Crafting. Workbench. Lovely. It's all just quite pleasant. Can't create here. Okay, well let's escape to cancel and go somewhere else. Or maybe it's a bit easier to create it, I don't know. Oh, 
That's weird. So maybe I need to have my... Well, maybe we can move on to the next tile. Maybe maybe we can't create on that tile or something. I have no idea. Let's try. Yeah, we can create it over here. That's very strange. Oh, well. You know, if my house is one tile away, I don't really mind. Uh, great. Now gather six logs and use the workbench to upgrade it to tier one. Well, I just created a load of logs. So let's upgrade. What? Oh, okay. So maybe... Not as many logs as I thought. <laughs> uh, did I not pick some up or something? Because I'm sure I just chopped down loads of trees. What? Must have used them to actually make the workbench. I'm guessing. So we'll just keep going. We'll get it upgraded. I only have two logs, so I'll probably need to chop down like two more trees. A bunny rabbit is just asking to be eaten. I'm doing quite well for my food right now. Water is being a problem, but I'm keeping an eye on it and I'll try and use it when my water is quite low so to give me the maximum amount of time. I don't know how much it increases it by. Uh, okay, right, let's go and I'll probably need to get some more for the next thing I do, but let's just go and upgrade the bench first. Right, so you've got six logs. Bench is upgraded. So now when I go to craft, we can make building parts. So I can make a building foundation. So again, we're probably going to need some more logs for that though. Just keep uh, cutting down trees. Cutting down all the trees. We're going to have a plane here eventually. Because <laughs> it won't be a forest anymore. A rabbit's taunting me. It's like, yeah, look at my meaty, meaty haunches. Okay, let's see how much we can do with our amount of wood. So, hold to craft. I can make four, so that's all right. Don't know if I want to go bigger than that, but yeah, that'll be all right. And I'll just, I will just build here then, because it seems to want me to build here. Right. What a nice little plane here. So like put down the foundations. They snap really nicely together. Be careful not to stand like I just did there too close to them because it can be a bit of a pain. The other thing is you can make you can expand it out at any point. Um so now we need to make some walls and doors and things like that. So we're gonna need like way more stuff. Way more trees keep chopping them down and like it's quite cool that we're already at the point where we're making a little house for ourselves i like that a lot but the main thing about this is it's survival and it's also like there's a story to find so um if you zoom the map out i will tell you where you need to go to find story so let me just oh i've discovered coal uh, it did show, um, like, in the Kickstarter that you could zoom quite far out and see where things were, but maybe that will come in a bit, because we are obviously still doing the tutorial, so it might just want us to stick to what we're doing for now. So I'm just going to make a little square house. So I'm going to make maybe uh, a door and maybe, like, three windows. One next to the door and two at the back. And then four walls. Oh, okay. We don't have enough for that. So let's just do the, the front and back of the house. And then we'll go get some more to make some walls with. And so we've got a door there. A window there. A couple of windows at the back. And then we'll put a couple of walls in. And it'll just be very, very simple. And it's saying, you can do roofs. But I, I do want to... Do, oh, come here, Axe. I do want to do a proper... Uh, <laughs> set of walls before I start on the roof, honestly. It just might be nicer that way. So I just chop down a few trees. The more trees I chop down, the easier it's gonna be. Do you expand my base? So the more I chop the trees down around the base, the better that's gonna be. I did notice is I, I in my playtest I got like stuck in a wall 
Um, which was completely sorted by a reload. If you reload, you uh, come back in the middle, which is fine. But what happened then was uh, the, the the trees and things like reloaded. It was a bit weird. I would think that it would just be... And, and that might be something to do with the procedural generation of the game. I'm going to get this rock as well. It's just going to clear everything out. Now, I am getting towards needing sleep. I'm about halfway through my sleep score. I don't have a bed yet, so I really do need to move on towards that uh, within the tutorial. But hopefully, the, the more that I'm clearing and the more that I am getting different materials, the more they will just be there when it asks me to make something. So what I'm hoping is that I am actually saving time by doing this <laughs> a little bit. Okay, so I want four walls and then probably four roof segments. I'll do the walls first. One, two, three, four. Roof, one, two, three. Ah, uh, we ran out of logs. I need one more tree. Okay, let's go just, just go chop this one over here down. But that'll be enough to completely finish off my house. And then I'm hoping that the next thing it'll give me will be a bed. And then maybe I'll be able to expand out another tile so that I can maybe try and get a water source. You never know. Every... It's good to remember where centre is because... Hmm. There we are. Every tile you go out from centre is a harder tile. So by just getting concentric circles around center, you give yourself the, the most resources for the easiest time. If you want to make it harder for yourself, then uh, you want to expand out like in one direction, I would probably say, from, from what I can tell. So we've got some walls there, some walls here. So all the walls done. Roof. And I can rotate with R. It's just a simple pitch roof. So you've got just a very simple little hut. You can make yourself obviously some more. Um, and I might do this actually. Make myself a little porch. Going around the house that I can put things on. So um, if you want to adjust or destroy parts of your build. You can do toggle build mode on and off. Okay let's have a look at what build mode is. So you can move. Oh, lovely. Ah, I didn't know about this. Ah, I didn't get this. This is, we're beyond where I was in the playtest now. Oh my goodness. You can just move the walls around when you want to expand the base. That is so nice. And you, it looks like you can have up to three or maybe more store. No, it looks like three stories in a roof. So it's a one story building. I think once you upgrade your um, workbench, you can then get a two story building. Craft a bed. This is what we needed. This is what we needed. We need to come out of build mode, though. We need to make a bed. So, furniture, bed. I'm going to go put that in our house. So, now we have, yay, a little place to sleep. Ah, lovely. Okay, I'm going to rotate that so it's just by the window there. And then I can take a rest. Okay, so you're now ready to start your journey and explore the world. You have a map which helps you find your way. Quests, um, oh, now we have the map. Quests and points of interest are marked on your map with an exclamation point or a question mark. Okay, and that will probably be where I need to start fighting and things. And it is survival. Is You do different runs of it. You learn as you go. And it's like basically, uh, it, it's fun to lose in this game, I believe. It's one of those ones where you just keep going until you can't keep going anymore. So... We'll see how well I do and uh, how long it takes for me to die to something. <laughs> Have a little rest, shall we? Oh, look, it's daytime again. I'm fully rested. Looks like my water is very low now, so I'm going to take the water. And then we'll have a look at the map. Okay, so it looks like there is a uh, question mark point there. It looks like possibly, um, as much as I said, going out from the centre takes you to like easier or harder places it looks like possibly they're color coded so that's an interesting one 
Let me go to the edge and see what I need. I need two logs to move on and some rocks. So I'm going to try and find... Get some logs. And try and find a, an edge that maybe has some kind of water source. Because water is what I'm very much uh, missing right now. I've got food. I've got the means to rest. And uh, my sanity isn't taking a hit right now because... Oh, yeah. My sanity should be taking a hit because I'm trying to chop down a tree with a <laughs> with a stick. Seems to be the default. Sometimes I press one to to get the and it just it doesn't work. It, I don't press it hard enough or something. I don't know. It's probably something I'm doing. So if we have a look here, we now have a tribal village which has water, crafting materials, and loot in it. Hmm. So yeah, I definitely think it's going to be this one then. So, is there any people here? Or are there any people here? Oh, wonderful. We've got like... It's abandoned, basically. There's a fire there. Wow, this is so cool. There's like, like barrels of apples. And now I can apparently make apple pie. Oh, this is great. Look at me. A blueprint for something. What's it for, though? I don't know. I'll have to go to my workbench and check it out. There's a few trees, which... I don't know, they could be apple trees or something. I, I really don't know. Uh, there's a boat there. I don't know if we can use the boat. So where's the water source, then? What's this? You can cut flowers. Oh, wonderful. What's this? Looks suspicious. Um... <laughs> Ah, uh, where's the water though? Said there was water. Oh, there's a bucket of clay. Oh, I haven't drunk my whole bottle. Is there's like I drink 25% at a time. I've just realised. Ha! Ah, I am saved! But still, I'm kind of interested in what kind of water sources we have. Because I'm not seeing them. Some more apples there. Search the fur bed. There was a bone? Oh, okay. We can make bone things. Looks like someone came to a horrible end here, maybe. Oh dear, that's no good. There's a trough here. Ah. I'm gonna fill up my water from there. Beautiful. I hope that that's something I can do all the time and it's not something that is just a one-off, but we'll see. But it, that'll keep me going a bit longer. I've got full water now. Um, I want to make apple pie. Fabric, I've got hide leather strips. Probably some more bone, no, more fabric. Okay, cool. Craftable item, I can make myself a tent. Oh, that's great. So when I'm out and about, I can make myself a tent. Fireflies everywhere. I just watched Raising Dion, so now floaty green things make me terrified. <laughs> oh, it's such a good series if you haven't watched that. So loads of plant fibers, loads of trees, loads of everything. Right by my hut, perfect. Um, okay, I'm gonna go back to my crafting bench. I'm kind of thinking I might make a whole load of foundations here, and, uh... In fact, can I move... I Oh, yes, I can! Move my crafting bench... Like, close to my house. It's nice. So what I'm gonna do... Oh, I love the... I love how customizable this is. It's satisfying. It's super, super satisfying. Uh, Alright, I need some more logs. 
They're going to cut down some more trees. I need to eat more. I need, I'm going to light that fire in a minute and see if I can click on it. I think that's probably going to be the next thing. But I wanted to just do a little bit more to my house first. So my hunger is getting quite quite high now. And I want to try and get the most calories out of like everything that I can. Um, okay, so let's make some foundations. Just gonna make two and just pop them around the side here. And that way I feel like I can put my I can move my bench like oh no, I need to be in C, don't I? Because that's build mode. Move. I can move it over there and it's like got its own little platform, like outside the house. And I'll probably make myself like a make the house bigger, make a courtyard, like put some crafting things inside it, that sort of thing. So let's see what we unlocked, because like we now have much more stuff in this. Wow, I've got an anvil. I've got a tannery. To process leather. I can make a, ch a table and chair and I can make myself a smelter once I find myself one more piece of clay and I need a couple of pieces of coal. So we need to do some more exploring to get the stuff together for that, but that's pretty cool. Uh, the tannery we could absolutely make and I can make myself a table and chairs. Fantastic. And also upgrade once we have steel clay and a quest token we've done our first quest we'll be able to upgrade the the workbench so i like how that all plays back into it you can do more with your base once you've gone out and explored and found things in the world i like that quite a lot okay so we're gonna go back here i'm gonna try and light the fire just for like I, there might be things that i make mistakes on it's a blind playthrough i need some logs okay i don't want to cut these trees down they look really nice <laughs> Cut down the other trees. Eventually you'll have no trees left. Right then, so uh, we can now light it. There we are. We've got a, a fire. We've got like loads of fur beds and things and i can i sleep on those no it looks like i can't but i could make myself a bed inside these tents if i wanted to and uh, that'd be a nice place to sleep but i think i'll just stick with uh you know the my my cabin where no one's died in there you know that'd be great especially considering the the lore of this land right so it looks like it's going to go out really soon ah to cook right so i can make flour and I can cook apple pie if I have flour. So it requires wheat. But I don't have any wheat. So that's kind of cool. I couldn't look at the recipes until I had actually lit the fire. So, so that's fine. Um, it looks like my hunger's quite low. So I'm going to just eat a berry or two. I'm just going to harvest some of the berries around the place as well. I'll probably keep my apples and mostly just eat the thimble berries because they, at the moment, I don't have any kind of recipe for them. So that's fine. I mean, inventory-wise, you definitely have... Um, oh, here's my cooking recipes. Lovely. Handmade. Ooh, there's one recipe and there's a good sort of 16, 18 recipes that you can make in the fireplace. I can make coal using uh, flint and logs. Ideal for smelters, so that will be cool. But at the moment, I can't make the smelter because I don't have enough clay. Now, let's have a look around and see if I miss any, like, clay buckets or anything. We definitely... I did need to find buckets of clay. So I think it might now be time, possibly, to, to just move on, really. Um... And just see what else I can find around the place. So let's just uh, look at the map. There does look to be a, a quest uh, marker there. But there's also a couple of ones that we could open up around the place that are easier. And might give us some nice uh, crafting materials and things. So I think maybe we'll do that. So uh, logs and rocks to open that one up. So let's have a look. So we can have mountains. We can have pine forest. I probably want food, so we'll keep on with that. 
I'll cut down some more trees. Oh no, I said I didn't want to cut that one down. Ah, oh no. And maybe the one next to this one as well. And I may want to make like several bases in different areas. I don't know actually, I need to look on my map in a minute. Am I using the stick again? Yes, I am. <laughs> Sitting there watching it go zero, 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 zero. <laughs> But I expect when I press one, that one will happen. Ah. Right, so I'm gonna just gonna open up the one next to it. I think I'll, oh, farmland. That might be quite nice. Prairie. So that'll give you some different stuff. I'm gonna go for farmland on that one, I think. Lovely, so now there's a little like, what? There's a zombie there. No. Okay, let's see if I can if I can hit you with my axe. Oh no. Ow. Hmm. Maybe my pickaxe would be better. No, he's just hurting me, and I don't appear to have a weapon. Well, maybe we need to steer clear of him then. Oops. All right, I'm gonna go to bed, I think, in my cabin. <sighs> critical water. Okay, let's drink some water then. And a little bit critical for food. That's fine though. Maybe that's because of the zombie, I don't know. Like, I need a weapon. Guys, I need like a bow and arrow or something. I am going to, I think, go and, um, I'm gonna try and leave that zombie alone right now. And I'm gonna try and see if I can open the quest line up and see if maybe there'll be something there to help me with this zombie I found in the field. <laughs> Cause it doesn't look like my tools will actually hurt him. So I need like a bow and arrow or something like that to help. So let's uh, open up that part of the world and see if that like allows me some weapons. I need I need weapons now. Quite badly. Take some more water. It's good that I have a water source. I'll be able to test that in a minute whether the water source. Uh, a survivor's camp. Apparently not everybody died in Corpse Creek. Okay. Oh, hello. There's Peeps. There's Greg and Sam Brown. Okay, let's talk to Greg and Sam Brown. Hmm. <clears throat> we set up camp after we fled our homes at Corpse Creek. This is our temporary home now. Okay. Uh, Sam Brown has a new quest. Okay. Hmm. Uh, we've been out here for days and can't go home. This fire and handful of provisions are all that stands between us and the grave. During our escape from Corpse Creek, we lost most of our provisions to the lost souls when they attacked us. Please, help us get those provisions back. F uh, find the provision cart. Okay. Uh, is that it? No. Maybe not. So, let's have a look at my map. So it looks like I have to open up that one for the provision cart. Okay, cool. So you need to drop down some trees, probably. And uh, I'm going to maybe open up this one. And then open up that one. We just don't go near... We just don't talk about the farm, okay? We, we don't talk about it. We just... We just don't. <laughs> Can't carry any more of this in my backpack. Really? We have too many logs. We have too many things. Well, that is a problem because we don't have any storage yet. Or do we? <gasps> a bone axe! Oh, right. Okay. I'm thinking that that might be something that I can use to uh, be a weapon. Possibly. But I need another bone for that. I only have two. Oh, man. Fletching table. Oh, 
So that might be coming up soon, possibly. I need something that's a weapon. Or can I just hold it? Can I just hit them with a bone? That would make me laugh if I could just hit them with a bone or something. Or my stick. I feel like I need a proper weapon. Um, now, the problem is I can't pick up logs. So I open these up. So uh, can I, maybe? Borrow your... No, I cannot. Oh, no. And the clay, I can't even... Carry the clay. I may have lost that as well. Ah! I hate inventory management so much. Especially when it's games that don't give you very easy access to chests and things. Um, can I drop things? Can discard. That's, no, that's not great. I want all these things. Food and drink, tools and weapons, building parts, furniture. Got nothing really much. I could I could discard the pine cones. I'm very hungry right now. What have I got in the way of food? Just a few apples. Like why why have I got like I, it's not like I got tons of logs. So is it a weight limit or I eat some huckleberries? But yeah, why can't I use the chests to, as chests? Darn it. I'm hoping that when I run by here, eventually I'll pick up the clay that... Oh no, here we are. I wonder if I can look in this box again, because there was clay in there, and now, like, I think I've lost my clay that I had. I'm really sad about that. It didn't fall on the floor, I think. It just discarded. But that's the thing to remember, like, be really careful about how much you've got in your backpack. But there's nothing that tells me it's filling up. It might be an item count limit. In that case, the fact I've got, like, 30 sticks is probably not great. Regardless, we now have enough sticks and things to open up in this section. We want it to be... We could have tr railway tracks. We could have prairie. I think I might go for a prairie there. Well, let's be careful. Explore. See if there's any enemies here first. There's a rabbit. Okay, I can cope with you. That's fine. What? What, what hurt me? Oh, I'm starving. Okay, okay. Fine, eat the apple, eat the apple. Okay, it looks fine. It looks like there's some cotton and stuff like that around. Uh, but I need desperately to get myself some more food. Oh, come on. It seems to not be at the right place to get that one. That's just annoying. I'm so hungry. That doesn't look to have berries on it. Okay, let's try this one. That's better. Ah, oh, thimble berries for the win. Nom, 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 nom. So you're going to be constantly... Um, I don't know if the simple berries ever sort of respawn or whatever. But you're going to be constantly, you know, worried for that, I guess. I want that clay. <laughs> so badly. Yay! I got more clay. Okay, so we can now probably make ourselves an awesome smelter back at base. 
So one thing I wanted to know is, can you always tell? Yeah, so you can see um, where home kind of is. The initial central tile, though, was this one. This one is home base, but that one was the initial central tile, but it, it's fine. It, it might even respawn me on my home tile, I'm not really sure. So, I think I'm going to make myself like a, a few more of these foundations. Because I feel like they're a nice space just to put things on. So we'll have a look a little bit out the back. I might even expand the house out a bit so that we can have more things up against that. Um, so let me have a look at the smelter. So two coal for that, which I could probably make on the fire. If I have enough logs. So um, let me just have a look in my cooking. I think that's where my coal recipe is. So I need flint and logs. Yeah, I can. I can make a smelter. I think that would be cool. I think I do need to have some water, though. I'm going to grab that berry bush. Got to eat what you can find. Maybe these ones, too. I'm going to eventually be at a point, I guess, where... There we go. The thimble berries do a bit more for it, but you have to eat a lot of berries to fill everything up. Um, right, so I definitely need some more wood. They're kind of thinking maybe less trees. It seems like the zombie, as long as I don't bother it, it hasn't seemed to want to bother me. So I think we're kind of okay with that right now. I mean, the other thing that we could do actually, rather than we could just do the quest rather than trying to make a smelter that I actually have no metal for. That might be kind of cool. So what do we need for that? Oh, I've got everything I need for that. Okay, let's open this up. A level two prairie. Might the provisions of the survivors be lost somewhere here? Now then, we've got to be careful around here. It's a level two prairie, so I'm kind of uh, hoping there won't be a zombie in here. No, it looks to be clear of zombies. So that's fine. What's this? No, I won't worry about that right now. There's a lot of things that I could pick up, but I'm thinking maybe we wait for storage for that. Um, okay, we got in. These are the provisions the survivors lost. I should return to them. Okay. Let's go. Found your cart. They're over here, aren't they? It was not too far away, actually. I kind of think what I might do is discard my sticks. Um, just because there's a lot of them and I can always get new ones. And I think there might be a bit of an item count limit on things, so... Mm. Thank heavens, this should be enough to keep us going for another couple of months at least. I hope we can go home to Corpse Creeps Creek someday. I can't say Corpse Creek, it's a real tongue twister, sorry. Uh, oh, that's great. Do I, do I get a reward? No, just... Oh, I probably get a quest token, don't I? Canned beans. Mmm. Can I eat them? Mm. I think that, that did quite a lot for my hunger, actually. That was good. <laughs> Yummy canned beans. So I've kind of raided all of their stuff now. Um, hmm. So yeah, I've, I've done everything I need to with them. I think there's a couple of boxes here that I could have a look through. Iron ore. Wonderful. More iron ore. 
Hmm. Well, it might be time now. All right, so that's the last of my water. Let's go and see if I can fill that back up at the, uh, at the little camp area. The water trough, I'm hoping I can. Water bottle, please. Ooh, was it a once only water source? Ooh, my sleep is critical though, so I need to go to bed. But. Looks to me like you got to find your water where you can. Uh, that's really unfortunate. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got to scavenge for water sources until we don't. So, it's going to be interesting, that one. I've drunk all my water now, thinking maybe that I could refill it. <sighs> okay, so we've had a, a good sleep now. It's night time, so it's probably not great for my sanity. <laughs> I haven't really hit any kind of sanity um, issues yet, so that's fine. So I'm kind of thinking, yeah, this smelter will be probably the next thing I want to do. I want to extend my house a bit as well, so... I'm going to chop down some more trees because, oh, my own. So I'm trying to work out whether I was just being a chicken with that zombie or whether I do need a particular like weapon style thing. Yeah, that's great. That'll get me three new bits of deck there. Maybe even four. Perfect. And then my smelter can go over there somewhere. I, I might even put more, move some of the walls back. So what I would do here is go into build mode. And I'd move that wall. Maybe to there. Move that wall. Back there. I'm kind of thinking actually move uh, that wall. You'll see why in a minute. I love this. I love the way that you can move walls around. So I want to make a couple more uh, windows and a couple more roofs now. It's gonna have to get used to that whole axe thing. I think it's gonna happen every time, isn't it? Oh, and I think it might be time for the end of the episode as well. I'll, I'll see if I can quickly get the smelter done before the end of the episode, and then we'll come back and we'll see how we do until we die. Doing okay so far. The only thing that's a real issue is look at that water. I may end up just dying of thirst. So rather than maybe working on the smelter, what I should maybe be doing is trying to find an area with a water source. Oh, there's a well there, look. There we go. So each water source I find, I can only do like one thing with it. So I have to just keep on going. So you get four drinks out of each water source. And each drink is quite a lot, so it's kind of cool, but yeah, you... I need to really pay attention. To which tiles do and don't have a water source on them. Because I didn't know that the farm did. So that trough there was a water source for me, but now it's gone. So once things are gone, they're gone in this. So it's kind of constantly forcing you outwards. 
I wonder what we've got around here then. Let's have a look. So, pine forest, mountains, and pine forest. So, probably don't want that one. There is another uh, quest over there, though, so we could maybe go and have a look at that as well. But uh, I think it's starting as we're going out, going outwards. It's starting to get a lot more difficult. They're becoming more difficult tiles, which probably means it's more likely that a horrible zombie will be on them. And I really aren't uh, quite equipped for them yet. It's bad that I've got one running around the place. But let's just see. I can find a place that's got more water. So what have we got here then? The lonely cabin. A mysterious cabin in the woods far away from civilization. Who could be the owner that chose such a lonely life? World exploration is exhausting. It will drain all of your needs. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, you see all my needs went down. But it looks like they've got like a big wood pile there. They've got food. They've got a deer that I could maybe trap later on. Uh, at some point there will be things like bears and stuff that I'll need to kill on the tiles. Uh, in order to stay alive and to open those tiles up. So that's where I'm going to need the, the weapons. I'll probably need long range weapons, fletching, all that sort of thing. Um, at the moment I'm just going to steal all your food. And, you know, there's a new quest here, so why don't we go and have a, a little look at uh, the quest. Oh, look, there's uh, a dude inside the, the cabin, so you need to find the door. There we are. Hello, Stark. Mm. Hello there, I'm very pleased to meet you. I'm Stark, this is my home. The woods were such a nice, safe place before the lost souls began roaming around here. Such a shame. Lucky for me, I don't live in Corpse Creek. I've heard dreadful things about that night. I'm so worried about some of the folks there, though. Say, could you do me a favour? I'll explain a little later. Find the skull of a dead animal in a pine forest. Okay. Hmm. In the meantime, can I steal all your stuff? It's there if I need it. I think sometimes picking it up too early is a problem. Um, right, so let's have a look at where we need to actually go. I'm going to need more food before I can move on, though. So... The skull of an animal in a pine forest. Doesn't it look like the tiles are there? So there's um, one, two, three, four, five tiles of pine forest. It's not saying that, uh, so I'm going to go look around there, I think, and uh, maybe find myself a, in fact, I'm going to grab that, that berry bush there and uh, eat some berries because I'm very hungry. And the next tile I open will need to probably have a water source on it. It seems like if I want my apple pie, I'm going to need to... I'm going to need to probably defeat zombies and things. I'd probably have more uh, resources on tiles. Uh, that are harder, I would imagine. Right, so. Let's have a look out here. See if I can see... No, I'm kind of thinking that it might be over here, honestly. Because there's nothing in the empty spaces that has given me like a question mark or anything, which makes me think it might be one of the tiles I've already opened up. And that one has kind of an interesting sort of architecture to it. So let's try that one. There is a zombie around there. I've got to be a little bit careful just to avoid him for now. So yeah, there's like a circle there. Maybe there'll be an animal skull. Oh, yes, look, an animal skull. Oh, it's right by the zombie. Of course it is. <laughs> I don't know whether that's the zombie from the farm. Let's have a look, actually. 
no, we've got two zombies on the map now. One by the animal skull and one in the farm. So that's an interesting uh, turn of events, isn't it? Two zombies. I'll finish off this house in a sec as well. Let's go back and find Stark then. So yeah, just, just got to avoid them for now. Eventually I'm hoping to get enough like bones or whatever. But I feel like I can't go around searching as much because I'm worried that I will end up losing things. Hmm. You found one. Great job. Excuse me for a second. I'm going to make something special out of this. Oh, I got a lumberjack's axe. Oh, very nice. A quest token. A blueprint. Can I use the blueprint? Doesn't look like I can do anything with that, actually. But that's cool. Lumberjack's axe. I'm hoping that will be a, a much better axe than my axe now. So maybe we'll just do that. And use that instead. Maybe that will help me easily, more easily chop down trees. Let's have a little look at how much more damage that does to a tree. Eh, not that much. Take some water. We've got 50% water now. I need to find more water somewhere. Another water source. So, no water there. <laughs> No water there. This is what will force me into the harder places, I imagine. I'll be like, where's the water? I need glass to, to explore there. Is that a harder place? Yes, that's a very hard place. Okay. I need to just try along all the edges and just see where there's water. That's glass. I'm going to make glass. I've got no idea. I'll probably be in the smelter. Right, so the desert has a lot of water sources. It is level two. There might be a zombie there. I think we kind of need it. Oh my goodness, it's like a super fast zombie. Oh, I died. Okay. Well, guys, I think that's going to be the end of the episode then. We had a super fun time. Um, maybe we will try another run. Maybe we won't. I will see what I feel like. But uh, that's going to be it for today's episode. We had a survival score of 99. It seems to me like um, what I might do is between episodes, I might have another couple of runs and try and see if I can get as far as getting a weapon that will actually kill these zombies. It seems to me, though, like avoiding them to start with is going to be very important. Um, definitely that one in the desert there was very, very fast. So I think it might be important maybe to start making myself some kind of armor if I can. And, uh, possibly maybe some ranged weapon. I think uh, trying to get a bow and arrow is going to be super important too. But I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more of this, then please subscribe. I'll let you know if I make any more videos of it. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.